people of the Americas, a grave phenomenon is impacting our society and more so our young adults. Students are procrastinating more and more and as a result becoming more lazy and not living up to expectations that they could have exceeded. So today I want to talk about how to be successful and properly manage your time and your money. Stephen Covoy one of my good friends once told me the key is not to prioritize what's on the schedule, but to prioritize your priorities. The general rule is that you need to study for two hours every one hour that you're in class. So now I'm going to turn it over to one of my most esteemed professors, Matt Newbold. He has some great theories that he'd like to discuss with you. Hello, I am Pro Professor Newbold of the well, PhD in success solid. Anyway, you will find that success, despite what you might be think, can be reduced to a mere science. Yes, a single equation. In fact, you will find it here. For every one hour of school, students should study two hours. Two, not one, not one and a half, not five seconds while you're you're going somewhere else. Two. For example, 15 hours of class time, and you should spend 30 a week studying and for a total of 45 hours spent on school. Academics are not for the week. The important thing to talk about is the impossible schedule. Well, as studied you by the renowned doctor, myself, both PhD in successology. As I've said before, academics is not for the week or the salary man. Same thing, really. Anyway, hey, imagine this. If someone working a full-time job will do 60 work hours a week. Hey, someone going to school full-time will do 60 hours school hours a week. Thus, to study properly, you have to do 120 hours a week. That is a total of 240 hours in a week. There is no possible way a person can achieve this. You have to have to be able to balance your schedule. Working full time won't help. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Newbold. Now, some ways you can schedule your success, and with scheduling your success, you can use a planner. A planner is a valuable and essential tool in scheduling proper success. Get you started in your work on time. It helps you to not procrastinate. Release pressure because you have things under control. Freeze the mind from details that may void you from things that just aren't as important. Helps you find proper study time. And it lets you know when you can have fun. Now I'm going to turn to my most esteemed colleague, the time researcher. He's a field researcher that while he may be a little eccentric, is a professionalized specialist in the field of time. You know, I've been fighting these time bandits for quite some time. And it never gets any easier. Every time I see a student doing his work, it makes me proud. But every time I see a student doing what he ain't supposed to, I crack down. Just spotted a time bandit. This student here, he uh, fell asleep while studying. That's a no. Wake up! You got to study. Get on it. Sometimes this job just gets to you. Seems whatever I do, it's never enough. Let us don't get the message. He's doing it again. Let him pass the ball, but he should be studying.
You're not supposed to be playing basketball. Sorry. That's right. Get to studying. There are time bandits in this world. You can't just go around talking to your friends, goofing off, playing basketball and whatnot. You gotta get your schoolwork done first. You gotta learn to manage your time wisely. My work fight is like starting to pay off, you know? And I'm glad the president, Mr. President, invited me to be part of this team. Because nobody knows it better. Alright, I'm studying. Uh, good. And that is how we solve this problem of mass procrastination. I've put together this team in order to show you how to properly manage your time and schedule yourself for success. You will learn all the proper things from following the essential guidelines that we have given you. Remember the Newbold Theory. Thank you. <laughs>